This is the last video I'll be doing of this um, Peugeot Boxer, Project Peter Kelly. It now has four 120 watt solar panels on the roof, so that's a maximum of 480 watts. I've slightly refined my method with Unistrut. I've mounted this on 21mm by 41mm by 2.5mm Unistrut, so it's the strong stuff, but I put it on two spacers. Um, on my van, I've noticed I'm getting leaves and things trapped because I've got my Unistrut virtually bolted almost in direct contact with the roof just with a couple of uh, washers. So I've made spacers for this and that should allow um, water to drain more freely and any leaves to get out as well. Um, so this is the Mark II improved version of the Unistrut. Same for proper solar panel mounting brackets clamps rather, which work very very well. Um, I've reused one of the original ambulances antenna ports, I didn't do that then by the way, that's um, one of the features of this van. I've reused one of the original antenna ports for the cable entry simply to avoid the need to drill yet another unnecessary hole. This panel here covers the extractor fan vent, um, the extractor fan will still work perfectly fine but it covers it. Um, just makes it very neat and there's enough room up there for this massive window she's bought and the panels can be shuffled along a bit I haven't cut the Unistrut um, short because potentially if Sally decides to put the window down there she can bolt another bit of Unistrut on here mount it up there somewhere shuffle all the panels along and so it's very flexible in the way I've done it there's plenty of spare cable under there to allow that to happen and in the previous video you've seen that the um, Renogy B2B does chassis battery charging from solar as well as um, auxiliary battery charging and that's been working flawlessly since I put these panels on in a gap in the weather last week. So there you go, that's the last video of this van. She's coming to take it away um, later today and uh, good luck to her.